Hey everyone, um, this is Jill. I think some of you already know me from Wazing Wellbeing and Yoga. Um, I'm just setting up a little interview today with Tessa Sanderson, who's going to be doing a beautiful workshop here later in September. Um, and both of us, I think, you'll find out. Um, I think it's really important, the work that it's for um, young girls that are kind of coming into... Um, menstruation and Tessa will tell you a little bit more about that so anyway I'm I'm Jill and I look after the space here at Wazing Wellbeing and um, Tessa hi hello <laughs> How are you doing? yeah good thank you shall I introduce myself yeah yeah tell us a little bit about what you're doing and yeah so I'm also a yoga teacher and um, my strap line sort of on my website is I teach yoga for every stage of a woman's life so I particularly focus on pregnancy yoga, mother and baby yoga, um, also well woman yoga. Um, but over the years, I got really interested in, um, in our cycles, menstrual cycles, um, also because I run a red tent. And so that comes up a lot in how it affects our moods changing over the month, how our bodies feel different over the month. And what comes up a lot is why didn't we know all this stuff 20 years ago or 30 years ago, depending on how old you are. Mm. Um, and so I really began to feel that I want to bring this information around cycle awareness to the girls. So they have it when they're beginning rather than being like confused or cross that they didn't have it before. Mm. But that's how I got into doing the celebration days for 10 to 12 year olds. But also I do cycle awareness and sort of changing bodies workshops for eight to nine year olds too. Gosh, yeah. I remember the point where I was like, how has nobody told me this before? Um, you know, because I kind of ended up I, healing a lot of period cramps just in the first couple of days with yoga practices and just awareness of mm -hmm how to treat myself in the lead in to the cycle. So yeah, I've been there kind of like, what? why does nobody tell us this when we, when we start out instead of, yeah, like 10, 20, 30 years of like, ow, 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 pain, pain, pain. And then, yeah. you know, um, ibuprofen, ibuprofen, ibuprofen tends to be how we kind of manage it. So oh, wicked. And um, tell us specifically a little bit about this event then that you've got coming up here at yeah. Wazing Park. So it's called A Celebration Day for Girls, and it was um, created by an Australian lady called Jane Bennett. And in Australia, they're quite well known. Um, so particularly in some communities, it's just a thing that all the, the 10 to 12 year olds would do. They'd all, you know, go together with, with their mums. Um, in the UK, there are a few um, facilitators, but it's still beginning to, to get known about and it's a whole day and um we the mum and the daughter will come and we spend some time talking about cycles it's done with lots of crafts and activities so it keeps the the girls attention and what's makes it the age the, group again it's what's the age group again 10 to 12 mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because what we find is if it's older they start to be a lot more interested in the sort of sex education part and and we don't really cover that in the celebration days it's very much more around the periods and the cycles about our bodies changing um, so yeah that, that there's a real shift for a lot of girls around the sort of 13 14 mm -hmm. age mark um, and with the younger girls so before 10 they don't quite know the questions to ask. Um, it's on their horizon that their bodies will change. Then they might see the, the girls in year five and year six are suddenly shooting up or they got hip suddenly, but they, they don't quite have the questions yet. Mm -hmm. So the celebration day is a whole day and it's, it goes really quickly. It's really fun. Um, and often, um, the mums sometimes have to cajole <laughs> their daughter to go along at the beginning because who wants to spend a day talking about periods with a stranger? I don't know many girls that be like, oh, yes, me, please. Yeah. <laughs> but once they do come, what, what happened last time was a couple of the girls said, but can we come next Sunday? Is there another one? <laughs> mm. Once they got into the day, they just loved it. 
because it was like this whole new world they were discovering all this information that had been on the periphery and suddenly they were a part of it and I think they felt quite grown up and respected and yeah <laughs> beautiful 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 so um the dates for this upcoming session that you've got here shall I just is it now a good time to have a quick pan around the studio yeah. So the studio is so beautiful. So when I went um, for something else at, at the studio, I thought, oh, we've, we've got to have it here. So there's lots of lovely greenery outside. It's a beautiful space. Um, so I was really pleased when Jill said that we could come along and, and use it as a venue. It's just gorgeous. Yeah, you'd be very welcome. And um, I think it's, um, yeah, like I say, I've been kind of working around the, um, my own cycle and with um, I've got a women's group that runs here as well so I just think it seems like an obvious logical next step to be working with really young women who are kind of at that, that seeding stage of just like understanding how important that is for health and wellness all the way through. Um, yeah because also it's a big time of transition they're either coming up to switching to secondary school or they might have just started so there's a lot going on for them. Um, and I think it just helps to spend a day. They feel so special, especially if they've got other brothers and sisters, so special to have a day just by themselves with their mum. It's beautiful bonding time, especially in the afternoon part of the day. We, we do wonderful, um, I'm not gonna give too much away, <laughs> but it's, it, it's so beautiful. Um, and it's, I think it really creates memories. And e even if a mum is being quite open about, bodies and she talks about her periods with her daughter it can really help just having other mums and other women around who are talking about it without embarrassment it just normalizes that it's normal to talk about this stuff um, and what we always find afterwards is that mums over the, the week or the couple of weeks after the, the session will say it's just open up this channel of communication that that was awkward before um, it's really beautiful and we have all sorts of props again I'm not going to give too much away <laughs> let's see but, some of the props but for example we've got these that are um, showing the uterus or the womb so the normal size is about the size of a, a small pear but um, during uh, a woman's period it can be a bit bigger and that's why sometimes we can feel bloating and it, it can feel heavier inside so we've got lots of tactile props that they can actually get their hands on and, and understand a little bit more about the body. Um, and then we also talk about thing, really practical things. So for example, having a pencil case that you can have you know, like a spare pair of knickers, pads, even a bar of chocolate, <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, so you need. <laughs> even if they haven't started yet, they, they can have something in their bag that they can help a friend with, or you know, they know that they've got everything that they need. Um, and that can give them a sense of confidence. We also have another lovely box um, of menstrual products, so they can have a play with those. And this is one of their most favourite parts of the whole day, the girls. Um, so things like period pants, these are team ones. You can also get them from other companies where they're like more brightly coloured and a bit more fun. Um, and we show them cups and reusable pads, the whole lot. And they, they just love it. They, you know, they, they, they want, they can try pads on and they run off to the toilet and there's lots of giggling. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. It's one of my most favourite things that I do. Yeah. Gorgeous. And so um, the setup of the day then, Tessa, you've got, um, what, between sort of four and ten girls or not as many as that? And it starts at um, 10 a.m. and runs till about four, is that right? Yeah. So usually, um, they would arrive at about quarter to 10, so they can come in and just have a look around and, and settle. And then we get going properly at 10 o'clock. And then there's a shared lunch. So if it's nice weather, we'll sit outside on the grass. Um, and then finishing about about 3.30, it depends how many girls. So um, the last one we ran, um, there were four girls, but it, it can be more than that. Um, so it just depends who's free on, on that Sunday. We also, it's important to say, we also have a mums meet up on the Friday before. Um, and so that might be, um, 
if somebody lives further away because i've had people interested from bristol for example that we can do it via skype or zoom is mm. where we're, we're doing this at the moment so you don't have to physically be here for that but it's just a chance for the mums to get together and have a, a chat about their own experience at Menark, um, what's going on with their daughter so far because we never put the daughter on the spot and say oh have you started your period yet mm. it's um so we just get a sense from the mums of of the language they're using at home to talk about body parts and the mums love it um the, the mums get an awful lot out of of the evening and the whole day as well yay i'm so excited yay we're so excited to have you here that's just awesome yeah just awesome and um i know you and i have kind of studied a little bit with the same teachers uma who's bringing like so much wisdom to um to women's yoga all over the world now actually i think yeah uh, yeah she's doing lots of tours in america yeah really beautiful to have um a colleague coming past to help with this younger <laughs> younger audience that really needs it so yeah. yay can't wait to have you here oh, um, is there anything else that people that are thinking about booking might need to know um should they get in touch with you directly to book yeah um you can book via ticket tailor so if we'll i'll put the link below this um but if you have a look on the website read a bit more about it it'd probably be good to to email me with any questions before you actually go ahead and book um but the main thing i would say is like i said before you know girls don't initially go oh yes please but it's if you as a mum think that this would benefit your daughter in the long run sign up and bribe her cajole her whatever you need to do to get her here because once she's here she will get so much out of it um and i always think of it a bit like we, i've got two daughters and we have swimming lessons on a sunday and usually on the sunday morning they're like oh i don't want to go swimming why do i have to go but ultimately i know it's for their own good from a safety perspective from you know from a physical point of view it's a great activity to do and they love it once they're there once they're actually in the water they're so happy <laughs> so it's a very similar situation so try not to let an initial reaction of oh no way put you off because you'll you're both benefit a lot from it if you, if if the mum wants to change the story maybe she had a bad um start to her periods Maybe she didn't get much support or maybe it was just really practical and sort of humdrum, you know, or maybe she had a good experience, but she's just finding that communication a bit difficult with her daughter and is worrying about what's being said at school by other children or, you know, social media in due course, what, what effect that's going to have, about how she feels about her body. Then come and you will have an amazing time. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Can't wait, Tessa. Thank you so much for sharing a bit with us about what's happening. And, oh, thank you. Um, yeah, I'm sure all the links and things will be shared along with the video so that people can see what they need to do next. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you. Yay. Good to talk to you. Bye, Bye. love you, Bill. Bye. <laughs>